Welcome to Bloodbath and Beyond. Today we review Bikini Swamp Girl Massacre, where the Hooters are checking you out. Brought to us by Troma, Bikini Swamp Girl Massacre, directed by Aiden Dillard, is about a group of beautiful bikini-clad babes who go on a vacation in a swamp in the Florida Everglades, never to return by the hands of the Kuichobi. So what did we like, boys? The bikini-clad babes were fantastic, especially one of them that stayed in a bikini from probably the get-go, Tanya. She was rocking a little yellow bikini, and her, it looked like her aerial was popping out half the time. <laughs> that was kind of neat. I like Sandy. She was a good one. Yeah, she was. <laughs> yeah, Cute as a button, that one. I thoroughly enjoyed that this film had that it's so bad, it's good feeling to it. My, like, ultimate favorite so bad, it's good part was Ron's <laughs> monologue, his speech <laughs> at the campfire. I've only ventured this far out in the swamp because I care about your lives, and I saw you drive in earlier with Ted. If something similar was <laughs> when a tomahawk gets thrown near the girls. What the hell was that? A tomahawk! Somebody threw a tomahawk at us! Someone threw a tomahawk at us? I think the overall acting was fantastic. I mean, it sucked, but it's <laughs> fucking fantastic to watch them suck. Another big thing that I did like was uh, they needed to travel somewhere, and so there was just a shit ton of like jump cuts with cross dissolves all over them. So ridiculously cross dissolved into cross dissolved into cross dissolved. <laughs> to be honest, I just love looking at the candy. Like, it was just beautiful. Kudos, Aiden, honest to God, man. Candy, candy. The women, the women, <laughs> the women. Chicks, man. Mmm, candy. I really liked Kuachobi. <laughs> he was hilarious. He was just this pervert. Kuachobi smelled women and heat! The practical effects in this movie were really, really solid. There's like tons of different like wounds, tomahawk wounds specifically. And we got like a bear trap to the leg, which is all right. Everyone who got wounded, there was just like blood just Flirting <laughs> out, and it was pretty sweet. I mean, really good for an indie film. So now on to our favorite kills. I personally liked uh, the spine kill. Ku Wichobi freaking hacks her back and just rips out a chunk of her spine, tosses it aside, and then a falcon eats the spine meat. My favorite kill goes out to Veronica. Kuwachobe is racing in on an airboat and it looks like it's this huge build up to him going to like put the propeller of the boat and chop them all up but instead he just comes by grabs a stick and just decapitates her Kuwachobe like good head <laughs> My favorite kill was Rom's death. We have a somewhat big reveal I guess of <laughs> Ted being the Kuwachobe. It's Kuachobi without paint that clearly should have been on his face when he was killing this guy. But what's sick is Rod just was like in a truck and they like completely demolished it and in the behind the scenes the guy said, I didn't like that car anyway. I'm glad they used it. <laughs> the air conditioning was crap. So now on to our dislikes. They did a lot of jump cuts unnecessarily. They just kind of jumped between every girl every single time they talked. Like no shot lasted longer than four seconds, I think, in the entire movie. And it's kind of really distracting at points. What I didn't like was the story was too chaotic. It was disjointed. The Somebody would be, like, too suspenseful with one thing. She must have been in a real hurry to get out of here if she left that there. The next scene. They're just like, oh, hey, let's go for a walk. The story was really all over the place. It was a little confusing because we get all these characters off the bat, but no real explanation as to what's going on. For something that's called Bikini Swamp Girl Massacre, there wasn't a lot of babes in bikinis. I mean, I think Tanya's the only one who consistently stayed in a bikini. I mean, some of them got into bikinis. Some, I don't even think, wore bikinis at points. And they were all wearing fucking jean shorts. I want to see bottoms too. Girls. We saw boobs, like really nice boobs, instantly. That was it. Yeah, we didn't see any <laughs> more nudity like throughout the film. I think it was a little deceiving. <laughs> yeah, was, I'll bet you they just like dropped that <clears throat> shot in at the beginning. Just afterwards. to lure little eye candy. Men like me 
into that movie. <laughs> and by changing the, the movie's name from Hellblades <laughs> to Bikini Swamp Girl Massacre. That's definitely a trauma move. Now it's time for final thoughts and ratings. All the girls look nice. We had some sweet practical effects. The only thing that kind of sucked about it was the editing style and the story was a little confusing. Overall, I enjoyed it. I was entertained. And that being said, I'm going to give this film three ham and cheese with fingers out of five. <laughs> this was a B movie. From the acting, the gore, from just the, the overall style of the film, it was definitely super, super low budget. And it was entertaining because we like those things. Uh, there were tons of gorgeous babes. The blood was amazing. I mean, they could have settled down with some of the intentional jump cuts because they were just overwhelming at times. There was like a shit ton of plot holes, more than it's necessary in this style of B-movie. But that being said, I'd still give this a fairly decent rating and I'd recommend you check it out. I'm going to give this 3.3 .3 footballs filled with blood and guts out of 5. I have to say I agree with Jay. This is a B of B movies. There is blood, boobs, bikinis, and babes. I can't ask for anything more. Story kind of sucked, but the special effects were good, and I like women. In conclusion, I would have to say I'll rate this 3 best visual effects I've seen out of 5. Now that's what we thought about the film. If you've seen it, let us know in the comments below. <laughs> like this video if you like our review and sub to the channel to stay updated with our reviews and our games of What Would You Do. If you have another very obscure B-movie or trauma film, let us know in the comments below. Don't forget to tweet at us at bloodbath underscore TV.